I was stunned by the diversity and the wildlife and the incredible vivacity of Monterey Bay. And I would be going all around the world talking to people about the ocean being in trouble and declining and the conservation needs of the ocean. And then I would come back to Monterey Bay and I, I felt a little guilty that it was so wonderful and the rest of the world seemed to be in so much more trouble. You know, it, maybe it was just lucky. It never had the problems that the rest of the ocean had. And it turns out that no, Monterey Bay had all those same problems. It had pollution, it had habitat destruction, it had overfishing. It's just that it got better. The people that lived there began to see that the business model of just taking things out of the ocean uh, or dumping stuff in as a trash can, that business model was not very good um, because it always ran out. You ran out of stuff or you put so much other stuff in that you, you made life very, very difficult. So moderation actually was a better business model. and. It turns out that that's good for tourism, it's good for fishing, it's good for industry. And those businesses had to begin to learn to collaborate on keeping the bay healthy. The way the bay has gotten better is people. It's individuals who are, who are passionate and stubborn and, and patient and made a difference. And they had turned Monterey Bay around, they made marine protected areas, they made parks, they, they pushed back when it came to pollution and overfishing and they just were relentless. And bit by bit, the bay has turned around. The human economic diversity of Monterey Bay is what is keeping it healthy now. And that human economic diversity is everywhere. Um, and that's sort of a way to think about moving other places in that direction. People working together jointly to use the ocean and not abuse it.